Now what you'll find when you buy a new set of pipes, often the joints will have uh, become loose, uh, either because of drying out, the hemp drying out, or because of general compression inside the stocks. So I'm now just adding a bit more hemp on this joint and checking all the others and doing the same if they are loose. Again, it's a bit boring to watch so I won't film all of it. But uh, put the hemp on and then roll it and compress it and that should do the job. Okay. Right, the next thing will be to attach the cords to the drones. As you can see here, the drones are loose. Uh, they're just not going to go anywhere. You won't be able to play them. So to tie the drones in with the cords, what I use now are these cable ties. I've got eight cable ties. These are probably a bit larger than they need to be, but uh, they are good and strong, and you can really get a tight uh, finish to them. Now the other thing I use to get that, uh, to be able to pull them tight, is to use two pairs of pliers, a wider nose pair of pliers and a long nose pair of pliers. And uh, I usually start at the outer tenor end and you just have to, well you can measure them where you put it, but uh, you don't want the uh, tenor one to be too long. So that's about it. in to get it in the right place and to get the cords level, the two cords, and then to do it finger tight by hand first. And then to use the pliers to pull it really tightly. see exactly where it's happening. I'll try and show that in close up now. Alright, one end I'm going to hold on with the uh, wide nose pliers here and then I'm going to use the long nose pliers just to uh, block and pull against my right hand and that's fairly tight I'm just going to get the camera now Up. So that's the first cable tie in position. Now I'm going to try and show in close up uh, what I do with the second cable tie to hold the uh, outer tenor stock tightly. You really don't want it loose because otherwise the cord is going to slip down and not do its job. So once it's fitted in the groove make sure that the cable ties are going to be at uh, 180 degrees with each other don't have it so that they're both at the back or both at the front you want them either side equally then pull finger tight and you really don't want the uh, little knobbly bit showing so have that uh, somewhere around the back of the drones where the back's going to be and then once you've got it finger tight Get one pair of pliers to just block in that position. They don't have to be held tight, tightly, but the second one I'm 
using the ordinary pliers here, grab hold of the end of the cable tie and just pull against them. You can hear it, oh, I can see it clicking there, but I think it's not tight enough, so I'm going to manipulate that before I pull it any tighter. And it all takes time, but uh, it's worth doing a good job. Okay, here we go again. And that's that one, I think. Nice and tight. And at the end, uh, you'll just need to cut the cable ties really short. Do now. There we are, and that produces quite a nice, neat finish. Right, two other drones to go. Of course, you've got to uh, do the center tenor, that'll be the next one, and then you've got two points on the base drone where the cords are held, the cord is held. Right, I've now tied the uh, middle drone into its cord. The distance between the uh, drones at this point uh, I've made seven inches, that's uh, from centre to centre and then from the middle tenor to the base uh, it probably will stretch a bit, but you want another seven to eight inches, particularly if you're an adult playing in a pipe band and if you wear full dress uniform, you're going to have a plate brooch and you need a bit of space because that's going to come at about this level, somewhere about here. So a bigger space, but very slightly between the base and the middle tenor. So I suggest about seven inches between the two tenors and seven and a half, eight inches between the middle tenor and the base 